I mean, if you've read the, uh, the title of this video, you know what I'm unboxing. And uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you know what it is that I do. So the fact that I've ordered a vacuum cleaner shouldn't be any surprise. Hi there. So today I'm going to do an update on the Shark vacuum. Now I've had it in use for 22 weeks and in that time I've cleaned 374 properties with it. Those 374 properties were various sizes. So what I've done is I've taken around about 25% off that total and so, so that equates to around 280 three bedroom properties, so average size properties. So if you used the vacuum once a week for five years, that would have been 260 uses over a five year period. So I've used it to clean 283 bedroom properties. So hopefully this will just give you some idea of what you can expect a vacuum like this to be like after you've had it for five years. Why have I used five years as my um, baseline, if you like? Well, that's because Shark guarantee their vacuums for five years. They guarantee the vacuums and the parts for a five year period. So I figured it'd be a good time frame to test things on. So the only question that remains is, is it sucking fantastic or is it a sucking nightmare? Let's have a look. Right, so we'll look at the weakest part first. And I've said right from the off, if you've watched the two year update, you'll know that I was not a fan of the tools, especially the brush, but we'll come to that in a second. In fairness, they have fared better than I predicted in the two year update. But let's look first at the stair tool. Now, as you can see from the clips, it has come a little bit loose. The fittings are a little bit looser than they were. It's not tight and it was quite firm and rigid when I first got it. Now it's quite loose and slack. One of the felts has come off, as you can see. However, I mean, look at this. That's a piece of wood it's lifting there. The suction is superb. It, despite the fact that there's a piece of the felt missing, it has not affected the suction. And as you can see, it pulling on this carpet too. It's still a superb tool. It still does a really good job. The only thing it doesn't have is the felt softener on the top edge. So I do use it accordingly and use the felt on the bottom edge if I need to run it down any paintwork. But it is good. It is impressive. Now let's come to the <laughs> let's come to the brush. I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. It does get a lot of hammer with me. But it, I, I knew it wasn't going to last. I knew it was going to be pretty poor and. It is pretty abysmal. I mean, I know that's pretty dirty, but that's just because it's been in use. Yeah, it's not great. What I did find surprising is one of my customers has a very similar vacuum to this MV601. It must be an American model. They're an American couple, and it's slightly smaller than mine, but it does have a better brush like this. And all I can say is, come on, shark, get with it. Having said that, the shape of this brush is really useful for getting into really narrow gaps and crevices and I do find it really useful for that. However, it's not great as a tool. It would be fine in terms of its size if it just had better bristles. So let's have a look underneath the vacuum and see what it looks like. The felt is still really good and all the wheels still work fine. There's been no damage to those. So I thought that was a really good bonus, especially considering I, I cleaned so many different types of flooring from really hard rough tiles to floors, wooden floors with nails jutting out that, you know, where the nails haven't been hammered in properly. It makes me cringe every time the vacuum rolls over those because it catches and it sounds like it's doing a lot of damage and I don't like that but that's just the situation I'm in. So all the wheels and all the underneath is actually in really good condition. The one restraint, I did say in the two year update that I predicted that that would possibly not last. Still going strong. As you can see, there is some wear and tear on it. It is looking a little bit worn. However, it's still holding in place. It is a little bit looser. The, the one does slot out easier when you press the release button. However, it still works fine. It's still doing its job fine. Same with the handle. The handle has gradually got looser, but it's still holding in place fine. And there's no reason why it shouldn't because the restraining clip, the, uh, the restraining bolt, if you like, 
still doing its job. There's no reason why it should come out. So it's all, all that is okay, even though it still feel, doesn't feel great when you use it because the handle moves around. And for me, I don't like that, but the vacuum does a good job, so I can't really fault it. As you can see here, I'm just demonstrating the pistol grip on the handle. And I do find, if you watch these other clips, I do find that I favor the pistol grip. And I do think that Shark should do something about this. In a pistol grip, you have much more control over the handle. There are some positions where if you are working up high, if you're trying to clean something up high, the pistol grip, uh, the actual hand grip, you're working in a very uncomfortable position. And actually the easiest position is to hold the pipe so that the brush actually hits the uh, surface that you're cleaning flat. I think there's some room for improvement on the ergonomic design of the handle. Maybe this video will help, I don't know. Okay, let's talk about the filters. As I said in the two-year update, the filters, I did find it hard to get filters for this particular device, the original filters that is. I did find some of the ones that fit fine, although I've had to cut them down. And here I'm gonna replace one of the filters. I use a cotton cloth bag. I peel the filter off, slot it into the bag, put both filters in, and then I put them in the wash. And they wash up fine. You'll see by the one that I'm going to replace it with the felt filter, it's got a little bit fuzzy, but it's still working okay. I think one of the big things that you can see when you look into the machine with the filters out is even though there's dust all around the inside of the filter housing, if you look at the bottom, you can see it's not getting through into the motor. The bottom is clear. So the filters that I'm using, they are doing a very good job. The HEPA, I've replaced the HEPA once in the five months that I've had it. You can see that here. Now, I've not been able to get the original size HEPA. The one I've got in is slightly smaller. It doesn't, the clips that came on with the original HEPA don't fit fully properly onto the slightly smaller version. However, it does work, it does fit in fine, and it is doing its job of stopping air getting out of the machine and into the atmosphere. So the HEPA filter works fine too, even though I'm not using the right size one. So overall, as I said at the beginning, is this shark vacuum, is it sucking fantastic or is it a sucking nightmare? I'd buy another. In fact, for me, given what I do, given that this is my livelihood, it would be difficult to go onto another machine and another brand. And you should be aware, I'm not affiliated with Shark. I don't get paid by Shark. I'm just recommending this because it's worth having. It's worth having. I hope you found it. Well, that was really clever of me. I completely forgot to add some of the key points. Here we go. So on this tiled floor here, with the airflow completely closed, it's a real struggle to actually turn and move the vacuum because it holds to the floor that tightly. Once you release the airflow, the vacuum moves quite freely. On this carpeted floor, the same thing happens. With the airflow completely closed, it's really difficult to move. I was really pushing and straining to get the thing to move. It is gripping to the floor that tightly. But again, once you release the airflow, it still vacuums up and the vacuum moves a lot more freely across the floor. Here I just wanted to demonstrate just how much the brushes do affect the pile. They really are effective. You can see where the brushes are agitating the pile. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay, now where was I? It's worth having. It's worth having. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, by all means, ask them in the comments. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. Bye.